behalf of the entire staff, welcome to our family. I'm sorry, there's no evil heroes? What? Okay, pause. Pause. Time out. Time out on the training video. New evil heroes. Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, where's that one Yu-Gi-Oh fucking website? Why'd you organization? Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> By any means necessary. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Okay, let's see. <laughs> Oh, uh, thanks for the follow, Garagon. The power of the Supreme King crosses with the power of Neo Space. Flame Konami. I cannot get over this. This is amazing. Look at that. So we've got Evil Hero Toxic Bubble. Level 4 Water Fiend Effect Monster. 800 Attack, 1200 Defense. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. One, you can special summon this card from your hand. If summoned this way, you cannot special summon for the rest of this turn except hero monsters. Excuse me. Two, if this card is special summoned and you control a fusion monster that must be special summoned with dark fusion, you can draw two cards. Okay, so they really are just going, hey, what if we took evil heroes but Supreme King? Note, this card is an evil hero version of elemental hero Neo Bubble Man. Oh, or is that really what they're doing? Well, one of them is so far. So we've got Evil Hero Death Prison or Evil Hero Doom Prison because Konami USA is a bunch of bitches. Level 4 Light Rock Mon Ugh. Level 4 Light Rock Effect Monster, 1700 1100. You can only special summon with the first effect of this card's name once per turn. You can only use the second effect of this card's name once per turn. If you control a fusion monster that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can send one hero monster from your deck to the graveyard if a fusion summon if you fusion summon a hero monster this turn. This face up card can be used as a substitute for any one fusion material whose name is mentioned on it, but the other materials must be correct. Okay, so Mud Dragon, essentially. Mud Dragon the Evil Hero. Uh Evil Hero Hell Rider or Evil Hero Infernal Rider. 2100 attack, 800 defense, level 6 wind fiend monster. You can only use the first and second effect of this card's name each once per turn. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can add one Dark Fusion from your deck or graveyard to your hand. You can banish this card and four other monsters from your graveyard. Set one Super Poly from your deck. Also, until the end of your opponent's turn, you cannot special summon except hero monsters, but you can fusion summon fusion monsters that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion with effects other than it. Oh my god. That is really good. God, why did they turn the evil heroes into this? This is so interesting. Were evil what were evil heroes originally? I only really knew Destiny heroes. E hero. Evil hero Neos Lord. Neos Lord. Oh my god, it's an evil Neos. Uh let's see. Dark level 10 Dark Fiend Fusion Monster. Dog shit. Neos. Evil, evil hero Neos Lord is? 2,500, 2,500. Uh, ele elemental hero Neos or one fusion monster that mentions it and one effect monster on the field must be special summoned with dark fusion. You can only use the first effect of this card's name once per turn. Oh, the original evil heroes were dog shit. I get it. Uh, yeah, only use first effect once per turn. Old hero, hero evil heroes, yes. If this card is special summoned or if a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard while this monster is on the field, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls. Take control of it. And then this can't be destroyed by battle or card effects. Oh, that's really good. And this is Evil Hero Inferno Wing. Takes its name from the effect of Evil Hero Inferno Wing. Inferno Wing, not the attack. Evil Hero Inferno Wing, Hellback Fire. Level 6 Fire Fiend Fusion Effect Monster. 
2100 attack, 1200 defense, materials, elemental hero avian or elemental hero burst Natrix, plus one hero monster. Needs dark fusion. Uh, each effect is once per turn. If this card is special summoned, you can add one dark fusion or one card that mentions it from your deck or graveyard to your hand, except a fusion monster. And if, if your hero monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict 21 hand... Ugh, oh my god. 20, 2100 damage to them. Okay. Man, Konami's loving burn effects recently. Like, think about a, think about a Black-Winged Assault Dragon. That was nothing but burn effects. Uh, Evil Hero Dark Knight. Wow, that attack is shit. Level 8 Earth Fiend Fusion Monster. Uh, one Fiend Monster plus one Warrior Monster. No wonder it's very easy to get out. Must be special summoned with Dark Fusion. Monsters your opponent control lose attack equal to the total original attack of the fusion materials used for this card's summon. Can make a second attack during each battle phase. If this face-up special summon card you control leaves the field by your opponent, you can target one Fiend or Warrior Monster in your graveyard, special summon it in defense position. Ah. Now I see why the attack is so low, because it doesn't fucking matter. Dark Contact. Activate one of these effects, but you can only use each effect once per turn. Fusion summon one fusion monster that must be special summoned with Dark Fusion from your d extra deck by shuffling its materials from your field, graveyard, and or banishment into the deck. This is treated as a fusion summoned with Dark Fusion. Okay, so this is essentially Dark Fusion 2.0. Add one Supreme King's Castle or Dark Fusion from your deck to your hand. Or a Searcher. Epic. Evil Assault. Uh, you can only use each effect once per turn. Discard one card. You cannot special summon from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. After this card resolves, accept Hero Monsters. Also take one level 4 or lower Evil, evil Hero Monster from your deck and either add it to your hand or special summon it. Good to know. <laughs> Two, if this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it, add one dark fusion from your graveyard to your hand. Wow. And the last one, which is dark supremacy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Yes, there's all my uh, commands if you need any of them. Uh, anything that has to do with the subathon is not currently active because, of course, we're not in a subathon. Uh, target one face-up card your opponent controls up to the number of dark fusion and spells that mention it in your graveyard. Negate their effects until the end of this turn. If this card is in your graveyard except the turn it was sent there, you can banish it, then target up to five hero monsters in your graveyard and or banishment, shuffle them into the deck. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Very interesting indeed. Shall we get back now that we've had some time to process all of those new cards that are just essentially Supreme King builders? Uh, how about we get back to this weird-ass fucking McDonald's training video? 